television and I couldn't get a cell phone to work. <laughs> Actually, and what does that one mean? I, I think the hotline is busy because I'm getting a getting a busy signal. Yeah, they, keep they, trying. Uh, coming keep up in the next half hour, we're going to have some hot gadgets for improving your golf game and how to keep your health care costs under control. Stay tuned. Right. I dreamed that I was on national television and I couldn't get a cell phone to work. <laughs> Actually, and what does that one mean? I wonder. I think the hotline is busy because I'm getting a getting a busy signal. Yeah, they, but keep trying. Uh, coming keep up in the next half hour, we're going to have some hot gadgets for improving your golf game and how to keep your health care costs under control. Stay tuned. On that one, because I think that one is going to sell out, Laura. We have for you tonight a pendant that is London blue topaz and diamond. Or whatever. Yeah. Aren't they beautiful? Are gorgeous. Gorgeous. So we don't want to ruin this time with you guys. Do you have any questions? And when my parents have that great cottage at Sankety Point, <laughs> it's so romantic. <laughs> Neil does. Right? like. Yeah. And put the other knee. <laughs> no, Wait! <laughs> you can get free. Yeah, you can get and all kinds of uh, great free things. Because you are so worked up today, I brought something for you. This is destined to be the pet rock of the night. Yeah, you, here, let me here. just scoot yeah, over right here. Yeah, he'll talk to you about it. No, but I, you, every once in a while you meet somebody who says, oh yeah, I remember I was two and a half. How do they do it? Keep it plugged in because you can turn it off. I mean, you don't have to plug it in to turn it on. And then have it plugged in, flip it on to low or high, and start massaging that. Millionaire, it's going to be a great show. Don't forget the contest rules coming right up as we give out these candies. Thanks for Thanks being for here. Thanks for watching. If she's going to have anything that's ugly, it might as well be your feet. <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, we got Gordon Elliott coming up in this hour, and he's in Las Vegas. Mark is wrapping up a great week in London. Good morning again. The uh, medicinal value mm. of cranberries and the vitamin C in mm. cranberries. When we think of vitamin C, it's a typical tendency to think of orange mm -hmm. juice. Is the vitamin C content equally... Out now, tremendous box office smash. Yeah, Seems to be doing yeah, it's really well. exciting. Such a good movie. I'm Shall really we... proud to talk about it. Good. Shall we take a look at a clip? Watch okay. you in action here. Okay, let's... Here is uh, your character having an emotional confrontation with uh, with Bruce himself, played mm -hmm. by Jason Scott Lee. Oh, I have one question. No relation. Okay. Now, every time I see Jason Scott Lee. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Hey, hey, Johnny. How you doing? I'm great. Good. I'm great. I feel like I should make an apology right up front at the show today. Go ahead. This will be very quick, but my mother did call and say that uh, she likes the show, and of course she loves us, um, but she thinks it's very rude whenever I have my foot <laughs> on this coffee table. And some people evidently <laughs> called in uh -huh. and said, you know, it doesn't she know it's not late. Hello, oh, happy yes. new year. Look, Gutenberg, Good morning. already the director with a little goatee there. Gutenberg with a goatee. Well, I got the order. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate to break, break this up for you, but it was. It was. Are you all right? It, no, I, was. I just pierced him with my cord. I'm so she sorry. She hates to hear things. I know. Like, oh, oh, it's yeah. She likes to think she discovered me, but you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, I'm nauseated as it I is. I was the biggest. Here's a guy 18 cents to his name going to Chasen's just to meet me. I think that is a... Uh, you've been having the circus here. Well, we... For, uh, people to get together and just share... Time, share ways to help their community. That's correct. Okay, okay, that's that's what that's the purpose of the Mason. Jonah Spencer. All right, Mike, that's true. It's affecting a lot of Americans, so we'll let you go right to it. Well, I'm going to tell you. Stormy. Stormy. Stormiest week. Weeks of the winter. Really? Winter. Really? This yes, last week has now, and just about every region of the country, there's been some severe stormy storminess. So long. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm John London, and I'm Charles Gibson. Good to have you with us. Wednesday, February 24th, and we're here in New York. We've got some kid-oriented items with that this morning, Mike. I know somebody in LA with a dog named Evian. <laughs> <laughs> That's a California name. Uh, oh, de decaf. That would make a nice I'm day. sorry I brought it up. Yeah. <laughs> Spencer Christian's got the national forecast. Well, we're tired of the storm. I am Enough definitely stormy weather, tired right? of the storm. We're going to show you today, in addition to storms, where you can find some golden sunshine Good. and some and some warm, toasty temperatures. Can you provide us with airplane tickets, too? Well, got paid. She got paid. She had another job 
So in order to get her to leave her other job, they had to pay her a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. And she got lunch from mom, too. Hey, Not bad. <laughs> what a deal. <laughs> Joel, thanks. Good month anniversary of Hurricane Andrew. A lot of good work still being done by all those relief workers down there. It was a Monday, as I recall, that that storm hit, and I remember it very well. Uh, we were up here. It was hitting just as we were on yeah. the air, and all the transmission facilities out of Miami went down, and we were scrambling that morning to get information right. uh, on the air about Hurricane Andrew. And, of course, when we came out of it, uh, the extent of the devastation really just became known then six months uh, to the day. Anyway, good morning, everyone. I'm Charles Gibson. And I'm John Lennon. It is Wednesday, February the 24th. Charles also has a movie, and she may be one of the only TV stars who doesn't have an exercise gizmo that she's advertising. We have one here. I'll let you uh, demonstrate. I'm not, I'm <laughs> what is this little gadget you say? It's a thigh master, isn't it? Isn't I, I don't, I honestly don't know. Is this the one of the things you... Good. There you go. Oh. Got to move the plant. Move okay. The plant. All right. Move the I don't plant know if this so is we the can way you see do it. the Charlie demo here. Is this the one you? It's one of the many fitness well, gizmos. You can't show <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You, you, this time. No, I, thought, I can't oh. do that in this <laughs> curve. That's okay. Okay, we don't want the ratings that, that high. We'll be conducting surveys immediately. Yeah. Just about six minutes after the hour. We want to go back to the Florida Keys where Mark McEwen is standing by. I don't... to meet a man who has just a series of books that he says will give school. Uh, that is not included in the statistics I gave out at the beginning of the program. But no, it is not. Percent. And I think there is such a large number of women suffering from that. And it seems to me that oftentimes, in general in our society, that's not considered abuse. It's not, and those women um, are in the position. Right. Um, what types of abuse are there? We, the first type of abuse that comes to mind is physical abuse, but I know that's not the only one. And I kind. think most people think that somebody got a black eye, somebody got a broken bone. You're referring to the Virgil Bender case. Why don't you explain that a little bit for people who aren't familiar with it? Well, in, in May, um, um, you can just you use a, with native snakes, just a, a pair of leather gloves is fine. Mm -hmm. um, remove them, put them in a uh, pillowcase to move them, uh, tie off the top move them, release them in a different area, and what you need to do is find out how they're getting in and seal up your basement mm -hmm. because there's obviously some cracks in the foundation that they're right. getting in through. And if you want to uh, keep them out permanently, that's, that's what you need to do, right. seal up your basement. Now you have some events coming up at the Wildlife Sanctuary. We could, we could uh, discuss a couple of them, okay. a, a few coming up. What else we do, um, we're going to lose them. Right. Um, now, I'll, I'm, I'm going to try to hold it, but it can't hurt me, right? <laughs> okay. No, no, this, 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 the... no, it didn't, it, it felt pretty good with me. If I can get it wrapped from the around? chair. That tongue but, makes me <laughs> nervous, but that doesn't mean anything, right? No, he's just, okay. he's just sensing that's a new person. He's uh, just smelling and trying to find out where okay. he's going. Bypass the... his head, you know, put his head <laughs> over here. Okay, we'll just take his body. <laughs> Um, if we can get them unwrapped now, here. Now, are you saying that this is not fully grown? That bugs? In, that in, in February, especially for Wisconsin, it really has no meaning because <laughs> there are no groundhogs out in February in Wisconsin. Maybe farther south in Ohio and in places like that where the winter is less severe. Right. By February, um, things may be greening up a little bit. It has that odor to protect itself from other animals out in the wild. W what does a woodchuck have? A woodchuck basically all winter long. How long will he sleep? Oh. Um, he's usually in hibernation by mid-October or November, and, uh, and he gets up sometime in March. Mm -hmm. Our society is reward and punishment. If you go to a job, they usually offer incentives. If you do something that's not right, you, there's a punishment involved. You'll go to jail or you have a fine. So aren't you preparing your child for You're preparing adulthood? a child for an adulthood in this society, which is who and what happens to me if I don't do it. In a reward-oriented household, a child asks, what do they want me to do and what do I get for doing it? They're really pretty similar to each other and they get 
obedience for the short term, but nothing more. But don't people, and including children, do better when there's an incentive involved? No. Kids only do better in the now. It was read in this story, was written to help children understand autism. It's called Joey and Sam, and it was written by Seth's mother. And if you're interested in a copy, the book will be available in stores around the country probably by late fall. You know, Linda, I think we, we, we should say that the inclusion programs don't, don't only exist for um, autistic children, but children with other disabilities as well. That's true, and the whole idea is to get them into classes so that they learn better. And yet oh, First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton adding her good wishes to Paula and Haley. And the little baby boy's name is Jared, who made his Brandon. debut on Saturday. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. I'm Harry Smith. And I'm Giselle Fernandez filling in for Paula. Paula oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe them. <laughs> it's time now for this morning's headlines. Haiti's military rulers are facing a UN maternity leave. Right. And Good morning. Good morning. Mark is here, here, of course. No. Oh, and I'm here, too. I'm a little late, but I'm here. Sorry, <laughs> right, guys. It's Kermit. And Kermit's here. He's here to tell us about his new video. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, actually, actually, I'm here to do the weather. Wait a minute. That's Look right. Out. I don't think this pond's big enough for the two of us here, Kermit. <laughs> oh, well, listen, I, I don't want to step on any flippers, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm here to learn from the... Some football games after that? Oh, Two games. big time. games today. We have what? Detroit, Chicago, right. and then Dallas, Dallas, Miami later in the day. Yeah. So it can be a vegetable all day long. Oh, there's something for everyone today. You've got the football, you've got the, the parade. parade, and food. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be in America. <laughs> You'll love turkey this. and some other things. And of course, we will be back right here tomorrow, and then we're going to talk about shopping. Yeah, because tomorrow's called. Black Friday. That's right. Big shopping day. <laughs> we'll all see you tomorrow, folks. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Thanks for making us a part of your morning. <laughs> With Katie and Willard, the Macy's Day Parade. <laughs> now, did that catch your attention? Did that just... If she's going to have anything that's ugly, it <laughs> might as well be your feet. <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, we got Gordon Elliott coming up in this hour, and he's in Las Vegas. Mark is wrapping up a great week in London. Good morning again. Good morning. Does she have ugly feet, Harry? Does Will, Julia Roberts have ugly have feet? You're going to have to watch the segment and find I guess out. I am going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks smile. to Leif Backlund of Franklin, New Jersey, for working so hard to play our theme this mm -hmm. morning. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. I'm Harry Smith. And I'm Giselle Fernandez here for Paula Zahn. We're going to make your... Uh, Holidays mouth watering <laughs> this morning. We're already just kind of <laughs> <laughs> our old buddy Patricia Wells is going to be along to show you some great delicacy <laughs> say delicacies, again, say yes, <laughs> that you can uh, put together for your holiday season that take. Good morning, America. I'm Bill Ritter. And good morning. I'm Lisa McCree of ABC News. It's Sunday, December 26th. It is the day after Christmas, and we hope you're enjoying your holiday weekend. Ahead this morning, was it crowded in church last night? Of course, the holiday season turns... Sunday as we begin our second year on the air, and as we ring in the new year, 1994. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow to Good Morning America. Former Secretary of State George Schultz will talk about the world events in 93 and what's ahead in 94. Also, music and muscle... I guess you could say an underwear sensation, Marky Mark, and comedian Rosie O'Donnell are among all the guests. And uh, would you work a shorter work week to avoid being laying off? We'll look at the possibility and feasibility of a four-day work week. That'll do it for us. Thanks for sharing your Sunday with us. Enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. If you're going to hit the roads, drive safely. See Happy holidays. Mike Schneider and Jackie Nesprall.
Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year once again. Mike Schneider has the day.